my name is Sky, yes, double Y, and welcome to my channel, Sky Explains It All. Or if you've already been here before, welcome back. As you can see in the title, today I am making a video that is going to be an introductory style guide on how to dress like the character Nana Osaki from Ayazawa's Nana series, which first was a manga and then later on was adapted into a anime series. Now, Nana as a character, she is a part of like the punk rock scene. She's in a band that's called Blast or the Black Stones. And so with that being said, we see her in lots and lots of leather, lots of combat boots, chains, studs, all that jazz, but also lots and lots of Vivian Westwood. And being that Vivian Westwood is a luxury brand, most people cannot afford it, but you don't have to be like loaded to dress like Nana. So this is going to be the guide to help you guys get that look of hers. Like I said, introductory. This isn't going to be like super intricate. I could do another video on that in the future of doing like a super detailed how you can like dress exactly like her, like really out there. But this is just like I said, introductory guide. With that being said, let's get right into this style guide to dress like Nana Osaki. Hey Nana, remember the first time we met? When you're choosing tops, you want to go for colors in like white, black, gray, purple, deep hues of blue. And you can go for things like camisoles that have lace on them, black or white cardigans. We can go for things with like lots of stripes on them in red and black or black and white. Also, you can layer things like a long sleeved fishnet top underneath a basic white tee and even taking like a basic white tee you could like cut little holes into it and that will give it more of like an edgy sort of look to it and also corseted tops corset tops like i said she loves vivian westwood also white button up blouses would be a good pick as well and if you want a simple nana combo like how i mentioned earlier wearing like the lace camisole you get like just a lace trim cami and then layer a cardigan over it and then boom perfect nana top combination her style relies heavily more so on accessories as opposed to just like the individual garments themselves because in certain outfits that she wears like she has just on a white t-shirt and some distressed jeans and boots doesn't really give the punk vibe until you add in like all the earrings and stuff she wears but i'll get into i'll get into the accessories later on throughout this style guide when it comes to bottoms you can have so much fun and it's so simple and it's stuff you probably already have in your closet and one of those things being you probably already have like i mentioned earlier distress jeans ripped up denim skirts and there are also other pants you can wear, like you can wear pants that have like plaid prints on them, anything like animal prints, specifically leopard print when it comes to skirts. And in terms of the link, mini skirts, mini skirts, mini skirts, mini skirts. Also a black leather or PVC vinyl mini skirt is just perfect Nana wear. Now, if you're gonna go for something for a longer length in terms of skirt, tartan or plaid skirts are a good look. And with your skirts, just throw on a pair of thigh-high fishnets and get a garter belt. Bada bing, bada boom, like Nana right there. And if you're not into wearing like garter belts or anything like that, all you could do is you can take an old pair of tights and cut some holes into them, distress them yourself. Y'all, please don't ever buy holy tights. Like, don't do it. I can't remember. Was it Gucci? I can't remember if it was Gucci, but I know it was like some luxury brand that was selling ripped up tight. I just want to tell you that some people have war in their country. For like pants, jeans, skirts, and all of that, just get yourself some studded belts, get yourself some chains, and bam, 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 you're ready to rock and roll like Nana. Now for dresses. You can go for things that have like that sort of tutu silhouette. We can go for things that are in silk and satin and colors like purple, red, ivory. 
Also, anything with like a big dramatic bell sleeve and things in velvet would be really nice. With Nana's look for the dresses, if we're going to more like formal wear, you want to wear things that are accentuate the body. The punk style takes a lot from like the BDSM community. So wearing things that are corseted and that show off the feminine figure are an A++++++. And also for more everyday wear, you could wear like an ivory or off-white lacy dress that has a sort of like antiquated look to it, like very like maiden type of style. Just have fun with it. The colors, you can do lacy slip dresses. The whole point of it is to be bold. Nothing you have on should be muted. Should definitely make a statement because Nana is definitely not a wallflower. So you want your dresses to be like pa 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 out. Outer wear is so simple, so easy. A black motorcycle jacket. Such a timeless piece that you can find at thrift stores. You can get a really good motorcycle jacket at a thrift store. And she wears that Nana all the time. Also like faux fur, leopard print jackets, or any sort of like animal print in general. I think even zebra would work as well. Or if you want to get like a little more, you know, razzle dazzly, you could wear something like this in this picture, a sort of PVC or vinyl jacket that has faux fur trim on it. And this one's in red. You can have more fun with the combinations like you can do one that's black with purple trim, black with green trim. Just like really have fun with like the sort of like funky colors and everything. Now, I know there's a jacket that Nana wears in the anime and it's the Vivian Westwood heart jacket. Now, like I said, pricey, 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 pricey. So if you want to get like a similar vibe to that, you can just get a regular red blazer and you can just switch out the buttons for some like heart-shaped buttons that are in black. With that being said, if you're like dead set, like I need to have the Vivian Westwood heart jacket, then there's a video I saw on here on YouTube that has like a way you can DIY the Vivian Westwood jacket. So I'll leave a link to that down below in the description for those of you who are into your sewing bag. <laughs> sewing bag, a double entendre. Let me write a quick 16. Had a question, it needed an answer. I asked my friends their hip hop dancer. <laughs> Girl, let me stop, let me stop. Boots, 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 black boots, honey. You can do combat boots, motorcycle boots, anything that's a black and a boot is just perfect Nana shoe choices there. And if you have little chains or anything like that on them or studs, even better. If you're into more platform things, you can go for a platform boot that works too. If you like heels, you can go for like a lace up platform stiletto in black, of course. Also, Nana wears the rocking horse sandals. So there are so many dupes of them online because I know the real ones are like $600 and like I said, not everybody can afford that. So you can definitely get some dupes. You can even do like little platform heels that have that tartan or plaid print on them. Also, I think some pointed toe white boots would be very on brand for a Nana Ostaki inspired style. Creepers, white creepers, black creepers, creepers that have that leopard print on them. Like anything creepers works perfectly. Boots, black converse. There's so many ways you can incorporate her style with things you likely already have in your closet. <music> Last section that I'm gonna talk about, which I feel like is the most important, which I feel like is what is necessary when dressing Nana, which is the accessories. Now, like I mentioned earlier, she wears a lot of Vivian Westwood. She's worn like Vivian Westwood, the armoring. She's won the stud earrings. She's worn the drop earrings. She's worn the three layered choker necklace. That adds up, but you don't have to drop, like, you know, a mortgage to have accessories like her. So you can go for 
chokers, like leather chokers, buckle chokers, ones with studs on them or spikes even on them would work. And also don't be afraid to mess with gold because Nana does wear gold too, not just silver. A choker necklace in gold, like a pearl choker necklace in gold, I meant to say. You could do like safety pin earrings. You can do an assortment of different like mix match rings or that have like that steel metal look to them. Also, arm warmers are a good Nana have. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, tights. You can do thigh-high tights, fishnet tights, cut-up tights, tights that have patterns etched into them. Also, lots of studded belts and lots of chains, like I mentioned earlier. Those skinny scarves that were really popular in the 2000s, that's a good one too sunglasses in red or in black particularly maybe more so in like the aviator style and you can do hats too like a newsboy cap y'all my camera wants to keep talking about um battery exhausted it's like me too sis but anyway i'm just gonna use my webcam to finish recording the rest of the outro like i was saying this video is just like i said an introductory guide to, you know dip your toes in get your feet a little wet wet so you can get a vibe of Nana style and then you can get more creative and more bold of trying to go with different textures like feathers and different like colors and different patterns and all of that. Keep in mind when you are dressing like Nana, here are some style points that you can keep in the back of your mind when you're out shopping. Lace, leather, studs, chains, skulls, plaid, ruffles, garter belts, I just put garter, but I meant garter belts, satin, silk, chiffon, tulle, stripes, tartan, black boots, fishnets, reds, blacks, grays, whites, purples, silver, gold, paint splatter, pins, chokers, rings, roses, hearts, distressed, torn, and pearls. And those are just some little, like I said, style points to keep in mind when you are, why is this shaking? The those are just some style points to keep in the back of your mind when you are, like I said, trying to curate your wardrobe or even just your outfit to dress like Nana. I love Nana and I'm not just saying like, oh my God, I love Nana. No, like I genuinely love Nana. No exaggeration. It is a piece of literature and television series or whatever you want to call it that quite literally changed my life. I cried so many times trying to make this video, just going through and looking at panels, going back and just skimming through some of the episodes. I put myself through it to make this video, y'all. And I don't even relate to Nana Osaki. I relate to Nana Komatsu, which is another thing. I thought about eventually doing a video for her, like an introductory guide on how to dress like Nana Komatsu. But it's literally like looking at a mirror. Like I was around the same age as Nana, both of them, when I first came across the anime and then I read the manga and it was painful watching it. It was like I said, looking in a mirror at the time and anytime I just go back and look through panels or try to read it or see Hachi, it just, it brings, it's, it's literally triggering and not like in a bad, bad way, but it does tend to make me upset. So I don't know if I'll be doing a Nana Komatsu video anytime soon. Ayazawa is a genius when it comes to writing, storytelling, creating characters. She has such a gift in creating complex characters that are fully fleshed out. If you like Nana or like if you didn't know what Nana was until you came across this video and you want to check it out, I also definitely recommend checking out some of Ayazawa's other works, Neighborhood Story and Paradise Kiss. Those both not only have phenomenal fashion, but have great stories and great characters. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so very, very, very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Like it if like in the future you want a more like in-depth style, <laughs> in-depth style, in-depth guide on how to dress like Nana for those of you who are just ready to like jump in the deep end. Like we can do that. Like we can get crazy y'all. Like we can go a full on boas. We can do hats. We can do all of that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, this is for the people you know are just a little more like you know, baby steps that want to do baby steps. Thanks for watching. I had to re-record this video because 
I recorded it yesterday and it was trash. I was so tired and I don't know why. Y'all, let me just put this out here and then I'm going to go. Don't do stuff when you're tired. And I hate that we live in this culture that's like, Ew, even when you're hurting, even when you're tired, you got to keep going. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because, see, I did all of that, wasted my time yesterday, and the video ended up being trash. I kept stumbling. Nothing was making sense. I kept rambling. Like, and you could visibly see that I was tired. Like, I don't know. I was going through something yesterday. My skin looked gray. I wasn't feeling my makeup. I looked casket ready. Something yesterday was just going on, and I should have just, and I knew it when I got up in the morning. I should have just said, no, I'll call it quits. I'll make this video another time. But I went ahead and did it, and what did I do? wasted my time wasted my time and look at here i'm here making this video again and i actually have energy i actually feel like i look nice today i actually know what i'm saying because you know i'm not tired that's what i'm saying don't do stuff when you're tired so if you're tired and you're like oh i just need to push through no go lay down go take a nap go drink some water all right I don't know why I'm getting loud, but thank you guys so very, very much for watching. I hope you have a dreamy day. Bye.